Hello. <laughs> Say hi, hi, buddy. Hi. Welcome to another video from Homesteading Off the Grid. We are going to talk to you about beating cabin fever. Okay. Yep. Here, I'm just going to show these guys. Look at this. Okay. Look, no foot. Hold on, honey. I want to show them this. Hold on. Here's a bridge heading out into the woods. There are no tracks. We are the trailblazers here. It snowed yesterday and okay, now let's show your beautiful faces. Look at me, guys. We're going hiking in the woods, okay? <laughs> and doing jumping jacks in the woods. So winter has just started and we're not suffering from cabin fever yet. Yeah, buddy, keep walking down the trail. That's where we're going. We're not suffering from cabin fever yet, and hopefully nobody watching this has cabin fever. Well, you might have it, depending upon when you watch this video, but there's all kinds of ways to beat cabin fever. You've got board games. You got board games, you got movies, all these things you can do inside. But our favorite thing to do is to go outside and play. Oh. We're not alone. I thought I heard somebody screaming. There's some hikers over there and they're pushing a little baby in a stroller. See? So we're not the only ones out here doing it. We were the first to cross the bridge though. Ha ha ha. Yeah, get outside and play. There's probably some woods where you live. Here's a trail going this way. Trail going this way. It's beautiful. There's a beautiful stream. Just bundle up so you stay warm. Are you guys warm? Yep. Okay, so you bundle up to stay warm. Look at this beautiful stream. The sun hasn't hit down in this gully yet, so there's still quite a bit of snow. That is just absolutely gorgeous. So how can you suffer from cabin fever, staying inside, saying boo-hoo, I don't want to go outside, it's cold, when you can come outside to a beautiful place, somewhere in your area where there's plenty of nature, you probably can't hear my voice right now because of the, the water, look at that, it's beautiful. So, there goes the family back through the woods, so I'm going to follow them. But, we're not going to be out here after dark. So if it's dark, we might watch a movie, play some board games. We don't have television, we do not have cable, and we're not like part of any group or organization that is anti-television or cable. We're just kind of anti-television or cable because it turns your brains to cheese, in my opinion. We're readers, we read a lot of books. We'd rather play board games or just talk. We love to sit in front of our wood stove and talk with each other instead of sit in front of a flat screen television and ignore each other. Not judging those of you who do, that's just how we do it. It's really nice seeing my wife and son out here in the snow because as many of you know they're from the Philippines and I lived over there for six years and I, I missed the snow a lot myself. I never thought I would miss snow, but after not seeing it for almost eight years, counting my time I was deployed in Iraq, I went for eight years without seeing snow. So we only saw it twice last winter. Our first winter as a family here in the US, my first winter back in eight years or so. Uh, but already it's first part of December 2017 and we've already gotten our first snow. So we think we're gonna get more of it this winter than we did last winter. Get through these brambles. There's the bridge and the car again. So, hey guys, I'm gonna stop this. So you guys say goodbye. Just one. Hold on, buddy. I just wanted to uh, show you a good way to beat cabin fever. Yep. Instead of being stuck inside suffering from cabin fever, just go outside and play. Yep. Go outside and play and play. Have fun. <laughs> Okay, buddy, say bye-bye. Wave bye-bye.